Hey folks, Wade here. I'm going to do a uh, quick walk around of my current build on the Long Easy. As you've probably known, uh, over the last couple weeks I've been busy with my uh, uh, commercial rating course, so I haven't been in the shop as much as I've wanted to. Plus I've been trying to figure out the toe in. But uh, as you can see, I put the uh, fuselage in the grazing position first official time it's ever been in that position so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a quick walkthrough and then I'm gonna raise the nose gear for the first time I haven't done it yet so um, as you can see I put the, the roll bar in with the uh, headrest attached of course up here we'll go a, uh, you can kind of see it maybe over there in the background it'll go a white cap for the um, GPS antenna for the Garmin GTN 650. This uh, will unlock, swing forward, and then of course that's got storage in there. And I just temporarily mounted it so the bolts aren't all the way in. Um, you can see this little oval hole right there. It's kind of reminiscent of the hole that will be in the center section spar back here. Um, and then you can see here the blue tape for the wheel viewing window there. I think this might have gotten crunched a little bit. Um, it's on there kind of tight, but it looks a little bit uh, like I'm going to have to put some, um, some TLC into it. I may actually kick it out a little bit. I'm talking to Dave Barinholtz from Australia. He's got some ideas. Okay, so the wheel cover, uh, NB, that's in, uh, kind of uh, not looking the best around it, but it's in there and it's solid. And then of course the support pieces that I put in each corner just because this kind of, the instrument panel, just a hair that way, so I wanted to pull it in um, so you can see that. Here's the pedo tube line that I of course ran you can see it embedded in the side wall and then underneath of it is the brake line embedded and then of course the mini bulkhead on that side and then the uh, phenolic base plate for the movable rudder pedals that I picked up Ken Miller's design that you get pick up from uh, uh, Dale Martin the rat's nest of wires That'll all get cleaned up. And of course the NG30 cover. I don't have the front cover on here, but you can see the mounting plate. I gotta clean this up a little bit, but the mounting plate for the parking brake. And then right here are the two uh, clear reservoirs for the uh, brake fluid. And then I do have the right rudder slash brake pedal installed and then of course you can see the mount pad right here for the battery bus and the battery bus relay I'm going to swing around here and then the brake lines are installed and then of course I have a quite a few Adele clamps either to hold the brake line this is this one down here is to hold the main two big cables that go to the aft end of the fuselage for the main power to the starter. Then right here another grommet going through Napster and then another um, this one right here this Adele clamp pairs up with the Adele clamp that goes on the bottom side of this and then right over in here this area right here these four bolts um, uh, these are of course for the voltage regulator and then underneath will be kind of a uh, my buddy Marco jokes that it's the knife edge that's gonna slice through me when I auger in but uh, <laughs> what are friends for but right in here is gonna be a plate and on each side of that plate will be uh, pretty much all my electronics the uh, ADSB will be mounted on top of here and then of course I decided that I was going to go ahead once these holes are opened up and everything probably like most people I'll mount the ELT back 
inside the baggage compartment. Um, all right, so moving forward. Uh, oh, so also I wanted to say this right here is to the main power lines that's going to power the main bus and then also the main um, uh, ground wire that comes from the main bus for the main panel. So, all right. So up here, you can see the wire will pretty much go straight from back here to that panel right along here, a very straight shot through here, through here, and then it'll go to the respective uh, power and uh, negative on the battery. And then you can't really see it. I put this strap in here. This strap is an inch and three quarters wide. I ordered a special strap. In fact, I just finalized the order today and that strap will be uh, an inch and a half wide that will hold this in. It'll be uh, a lot more robust than that. You can see how the um, you can see how the pitot tube is stowed and then you can see how far back it goes. It's kind of hard to tell but it's about two fingers width right there. Um, over in here these are for those uh, nuts or the screws are for the um, uh, assembly here. There's going to have to be a couple of connectors that for the uh, pitot tube for the pitot line and then of course down in here I don't know if you can see it, but you can you probably remember there's the backup battery for the gear and then right down in here are the uh, is this is where the um, main battery bus will go Okay, so moving back You can see also before I move back actually down in there. You can see that that is the taxi light and then I have the, the landing light covered Try to get down here. There's the nose bumper. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you is this is the pad right here. The five bid pad and then it's covered with another three plies of bid. And that will be for the At Atkinson pitch trim. And you can see it's notched out a little bit to make this a little bit more straight. For a straight line underneath here. Back over into this area here. Um, so then that's the fuselage sidewall, fuselage sidewall, and then we have the gear fairing, the left gear, these are the vans, um, gear, uh, I don't know what you actually call them, but the, the little nub right here. That's the actual axle nut for uh, the extension that goes out for the to hold on the uh, outside of the wheel pant. Brake assemblies are in place. Of course, all the um, the heat shields are in place. Um, this is the initial brake line. You can see right there. I uh, set that out so you guys could see it. That's one of the 3 inch stainless steel brake lines that will go through this tube right here. I may have to come up in here a little bit because of the, for the um, wheel pant, but it'll come all the way up here and then it'll come out of here and then it'll connect into the uh, aluminum brake line runs that you can see I have embedded. Those white lines along the bottom of the fuselage, those are embedded in the fuselage. Same thing on this side, here you have the gear fairing, brake assembly, and then over there, when I pull these wheels off to do the final, final, final toe in, uh, I got to turn that a little bit right in here for the, um, so it has clearance. It's just barely, barely touching, so, and then there's the right main gear wheel and brake assembly. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lift this sucker up now. And I, like I said, I haven't tried this yet, so here we go. Get down here so you guys can see this maybe a little bit better.
there you have it. So I think it's a little bit labored because I didn't charge that battery up. But there it is. It's uh, in the up position. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because this is getting close to dying. So thanks, and I'll catch you next time.